I'm out here today riding the Gotway MSX. I wanted to do a little bit of a review on this thing. I am just really, really impressed with the performance of this wheel. It's definitely another level for electric unicycles. This takes it a step up a notch with off-road capability, tire width, um, not necessarily in terms of comfort and practicality, that's not really where this wheel shines, but as a performer, as something that's fast and fun to ride that you can just charge at trails with, this thing is awesome. So let's get into some details here. I'm gonna to switch to the POV cam and show you guys what this thing is like to ride from my first person view. One of the best things about the Gotway MSX is that you can just keep up with traffic. 25, 30 miles per hour, no problem. It's pretty comfortable cruising at about 25 to 27 miles per hour. You can feel just a little bit of tilt back at 30. I have this max speed set to 32 on this which for me is fast enough. It's so stable though at these speeds. That's the amazing thing about the MSX. I have my tire pressure set to 23 PSI for my rider weight of about 140 pounds. That seems to be just about right. It's a really nice ride handling balance. Gives me just a little bit of cushion for the potholes and bumps that we have here in Michigan and uh, I'm not experiencing any wheel wobble or anything. You know, the more I ride this wheel, the more comfortable it gets to. I think your muscles kind of adjust a little bit to the wider riding position. And there is an advantage to having that wider stance. You have so much more leverage and control over the wheel, especially over rough terrain. You can hit mountain bike trails in this wheel like I've never experienced in any other electric unicycle before. Lots of good hill climbing ability here. You're never really left wanting for power on the MSX. Probably one of my favorite things about this wheel is just the stability that it offers. The level of control at high speeds, the level of control over muddy, nasty, kind of ruddy and rough terrain is pretty unprecedented compared to other wheels that I've tried and experienced in the past. Um, there's really something special here going on with the balance of tire width, uh, size, weight, and just the, the overall ergonomics of the wheel, how you stand on it and are able to control it over rough terrain. Maybe not as practical or as usable on a day-to-day -day basis. Because of the handle, it's just really hard to kind of tote around in and out of places, but um, if you just want to go for a ride, have fun, really get some performance out of this thing, and uh, kind of haul ass, this is, the, this is the wheel to go. One thing that I've really had to focus on more recently is just uh, rider safety. I've got a full motorcycle jacket right now with elbow pads, shoulder pads, a back plate, knee pads right now, and of course these wrist guards right here. Um, I feel pretty secure, pretty safe if this thing ever goes out on me or I have a spill or something happens. Of course, a full face helmet as well. I would consider these the bare essentials for safety on any electric unicycle. You hit a pothole in one of these things, something uh, throws you off balance. You can get into a pretty dangerous situation, even at lower speeds pretty quickly. One thing that I am thankful with this 19 inch wheel is that when you do hit an unexpected pothole that you maybe didn't quite notice, it's not that bad. It doesn't completely throw you off balance like it would in maybe a smaller size tire and wheel setup. So to sum it up on pavement, there's really a lot of confidence, inspiring things going on here. Um, where this wheel really shines though is off-road. Let's hit some trails in this. If you guys saw my previous review on the MSX, I was out with a few local riders here in uh, Plymouth on Hines Drive, and we were able to hit some of these mountain bike trails pretty heavily. And uh, we've had a lot of rain recently, so I don't know how it's gonna do with the mud out here, but uh, it might be a little bit slippery. We'll see how it does though. But this is honestly the very first wheel that I've ever been able to ride on mountain bike trails. And to me, that's quite impressive and really a testament to uh, what a performer this is on rough terrain. This isn't the easiest mountain bike trail. It's a little bit technical. It's a little bit rough and bumpy and rooted, 
and my tire pressure is a little bit high right now, but all said and done, it does the job. <laughs> Definitely a different discipline than riding a mountain bike on these, that's for sure. Luckily, this trail drains pretty well because we're right by the river, but luckily though, for trails like this, the pedal clearance on this wheel is awesome. There's really a lot of, uh, a lot of ground clearance on the sides. The fact that the pedals are angled up a little bit too helps with matters. You're not going to be catching roots or rocks or uneven terrain as easily as you would in some other wheels. So where a disadvantage in comfort becomes an advantage off-road. Once you get into a rhythm, you can actually attack trails at a pretty decent speed in this thing. You just have to be really careful not to catch anything like branches with your body because that'll completely throw you off balance. It will not be fun to recover from or recover your wheel rolling down the hill into the river. <laughs> Not quite at the rider skill yet to uh, race my own self and time on a mountain bike on this trail, but I could definitely cruise at a decent pace that is entertaining and fun to ride on. Really having to pay attention to what's up below me at all times looking ahead as far as I can. It's also a two-way trail at some time, so it gets a little bit sketchy with other riders. It's a steep hill. A little bit of sand through there. No problem. Just got to watch out for those roots. They come out of nowhere. I do appreciate how quiet this wheel is too. You get a little bit of a whir, but... I think it wor works out pretty nicely. Oh man, this thing is fun. You know, if you just want to go out for a ride and have some fun on an electric unicycle, which is really what it's all about, this is the way to go. This is the performer, at least right now. Who knows where we'll be in a couple years with performance. You can really put your whole body into riding this thing. It's a little bit taxing on the leg muscles, but you know what? In a way, it's kind of a workout. The way you need that leverage to turn and corner and maintain balance over rough terrain, it's really pretty entertaining. <laughs> oh, bumpy. Even at a pretty streetable tire pressure too, I'm able to ride this mountain bike trail. I, personally, I'd probably take a few more pounds out. I'm at 23 PSI right now. I'd probably run it down to uh, 18 or so for a mountain bike trail ideally just get that extra contact patch and, and softness over bumps for my rider weight that feels pretty good but it's all down to personal preference i like lower tire pressures it gives me a little bit more stability a little bit more comfort but a lot of people like riding them pretty stiff because they can turn a little bit easier again all down to personal preference <laughs> Woo! really getting Getting through a technical section here on the trail. Man, this is fun. I have never been able to ride a trail like this on an electric unicycle. Never thought it was even possible until this MSX.
big hill climb through here. Just gotta power through it and make it work. Really feeling the power on those toes. If I were doing a lot of off-road and dirt work, I definitely would want to swap this out for a more aggressive all-terrain tire. Something with some wider tread blocks, just a little bit more grabby performance, so to speak. Uh, but as it is, this tire does a pretty good job. It takes some air pressure out, and it does even better off-road. Even in high-speed situations like on this gravel, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm uh, drifting around too much or being unstable at these speeds. Cruising at about 15 miles an hour here. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. If you have any needs for an electric unicycle, wants, desires, head on over to ewills.com through the link in the description. Support the channel by clicking that affiliate link. Um, Jason has been fantastic uh, with customer service and everything, providing information, knowledge, experience. He sold me my first electric unicycle, the InMotion V8, a few years ago. And it's been a, uh, a really fun journey ever since. So again, like I always say with every video, there's no one electric unicycle that does everything or does everything perfectly, but you just have to kind of collect them over time. Uh, this is a really, really good performance wheel. It's, uh, it's just so much fun to ride and so capable in so many situations. Uh, I haven't really ridden my other wheels ever since I got this, to be honest. Um, maybe the the solo wheel three occasionally when I'm uh, needing to go out to the shops or somewhere but other than that this is my go-to now anyway guys have fun out there see you soon